Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. This is episode 56. Yes, 56. Uh, It is Tuesday, February 25th. Uh, Beautiful day today. Rained a little bit, but the weather was perfect. Um, Got a lot of work done today. Did a lot of work on my computer. Thank God I got the email going. I don't know what happened. They said something was changed. I swear I never changed anything. So I had to go through uh, customer support. Went through a chat, because if I put a ticket in, it'd take a few days. I need my emails like right away. I'm here waiting for like flight information. I hate to suddenly have to tell people to resend the stuff to another email or try to configure. I don't like my emails coming to my cell phone. I have an email, a, a, a different email that comes to my cell phone. Those are personal emails. Those are like, nobody has those, and I use those for like, personal stuff, you know, stuff if I if I need to, uh, my flights, for, for instance, you know, I need to get the tickets, I use that email, uh, but my law entertainment email is public, very public, I get a lot of emails on there, I get a lot of inquiries, and I get a lot of spam, um, so, uh, but anyway, we got it going, so uh, all is good with that, uh, making a few changes on uh, the thumbnail for the podcast. So this is what basically what I was doing is um, I was recording the podcast, then I was rendering um, a version for YouTube, and then I was I, then I would go and render a version for Facebook, um, and the specs were different, uh, and it was taking me a very long time, and I figured out another way of doing it that's a lot quicker. So I'm working on that right now. Um, so that way I can stay consistent uh, on both uh, Facebook and YouTube. So I worked on that pretty much all day today. Solidified uh, everything for this weekend. We're pretty much we're good to go. It's going to be a crazy weekend. You know, we're doing uh, Houston, Texas Friday at the Arena Theater. That's with Stevie B, Lisa Lisa, Cover Girls, Jocelyn Enriquez. Um... So we're going to do that show, and then in the morning, the, the promoter for Austin, we're doing Austin the next day, we're doing Come and, Come and Take It Live, comes to Cocktails. So back in the days, apparently it was called Come and Take It Live, now it's called Cocktails or vice versa, whatever. But anyway, the promoter for NAS coming down to the Arena Theater, uh, to that show, he's going to stay at the same hotel as us, so that way in the morning when we get up, we could we could jet out to, uh, to Austin. So uh, it should be cool, be a little bit of a ride, but... Um, it's cool. It's cool. And then from Austin, we'll be flying out. That's where we'll be, uh, we'll be getting out of there uh, to fly home. So it's going to be a busy weekend, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I will be documenting this trip. Um, I hope you guys are liking, liking the On The Road playlist. If you haven't checked it out, please go to my YouTube channel. So it's basically youtube.com forward slash Latif Mercado. Everything is Latif Mercado. You can even Google Latif Mercado if you if you get stuck and you can't find certain channels. Everything comes up. Uh, mostly everything. Probably things that I don't want you to see, but it comes up. But anyway, uh, that's the safest safest place to go. Um, but uh, if you go on there, you go to the YouTube, um, you'll see the, how we're setting up the playlist. So we know we have the playlist for On the Road, which is basically me documenting our road trips. It's a lot of work, man. It really is. I've done it before. I have a lot of footage. I used to bring uh, Dave Career, Webmaster Dave, for some of you who remember. Um, I used to bring him on the road with a camera. He used to film everything. Uh, and I learned that I really don't need him. He actually ended up moving, so it wasn't even that I didn't need him. He wound up dipping. So when he left, uh, I didn't want to put another cameraman on. I actually advertised for another guy, uh, but I, I just... You know, I always learn, and I tell the girls this, I tell my wife this, I said, the least amount of people that you can rely on, the better off you're going to be. So I don't want to rely on anyone. Um, I teach my wife how to handle the camera. So if there's certain things when I'm driving, she can handle that. 
So, um, and that's it. I just bring my little trusty Sony, go in there, do little clips, and, and I'm able to tell the story so you guys kind of get a little feel for how it's like being on the road. And I just think this is really great uh, stuff just to have, especially with freestyle fans. Um, I just think this is really cool stuff to have. We'll appreciate it more when we get older, trust me. You know, uh, so we have the on the road, which will the one that I'm releasing now. I started yesterday is uh, it's an older one. It's called um, the Return of Sunshine. So it's on the road, Return of Sunshine, Part One. That was yesterday, and this was the story of when we had a show. I believe this was 2015 July. Now it's supposed to have been a July 4th show. It's an outdoor block party. Very rich people. What they do, they have their little community. They shut down the streets. They get like permits from the city, the whole works. And then it's like their neighborhood. So, and the guy pays for all of this and he puts on this huge party, barbecue, food. I mean, he looks like he probably dips in, shoot, about, man, with everything, uh, man, 100 grand, maybe, maybe a little less. I don't know, but he really goes all out. Um, but anyway, uh, this was the show was supposed to be on July 4th, 4th of July. Uh, it was going to be Angel uh, Carolina Margo. That's the, the lineup that we have been doing for a very long time. And then um, what happened was because of that, it was a hurricane. Ah, oh, I forgot which hurricane, 2015. But anyway, so and this was Boston, Massachusetts. So whatever hurricane went through there, 2015. Um, if you know what it is, what it was, please comment, put it in the comments. Uh, I like to re be reminded. I think it's actually in the clip that I did. Uh, I don't remember. But anyway, so um, the show's supposed to have been on the 4th, on uh, July 4th. It didn't happen. They needed to move it to the next day, July 5th. We were still flying in the day before. Um, and we get a call from Margo. She couldn't do July 5th. And that was a big bummer. And we almost got stuck. So, uh, we finally called Sunshine. I had been promising Sunshine that I was going to put her on, put her back on. I don't want to say put her on because she's an original cover girl. Put her back on. Uh, but Margo was pretty consistent and there was no gaps. And I didn't want to just bump Margo and put Sunshine. I don't think that was right, even though Margo knew that there's going to come a time that I'm going to start bringing Sunshine in. We decided we'll start doing that um, once we... Um, once we get to a point where uh, you're on a show, maybe that uh, 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 Margo can't do, you know. So we ended up uh, calling Sunshine. She was able to do a show. I booked a flight, and I called her like the day. Remember, we didn't find out until there was a, a the storm. So I called her the day before she had to fly out, and she was excited. She was down to do it. And then we, thank God we had the extra day since the show was supposed to be on a Saturday. We flew in on a Saturday. Actually, I think we flew in, the girls flew in Friday night. Me and Angel came in Saturday and Sunshine and, uh, and Caroline flew in uh, Friday night. And, um, and we ended up, uh, they ended up, they, they had enough time to rehearse and stuff. And, um, and Thanks to Caroline, man. Caroline really came through, man. I mean, remember, Sunshine was a part of the group, but, you know, you're talking about 20 years, 20-plus years. Uh, she had a lot of learning to do in less than two days. Less than two days. So, but anyway, they pulled it off. Uh, so I posted part one yesterday and then part two today. There's actually five parts. If you have not seen this, you need to check it out. I think you would really... Uh, I think you'll love it. It's uh, like one of those huge, you know, victories. Almost felt like the end of a Rocky movie. So um, check it out when you get a chance. And uh, again, it's on the YouTube.com forward slash Latif Mercado. Um, other than that, everything else, uh, everything else is cool. Um, real quick, uh, Santana had a play today. She sang. Um, it was really cool. It was like a springtime. They're talking about spring. It was called Showtime. So the they have people with kids rapping and kids doing a human beatbox and kids singing and they had this little skit. It was really cute, really cute. Um, Angel started looking at me. My eyes started getting a little teary, a little, little, little puffed up. And she looks at me. She always makes fun of me. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a little soft when it comes to those things. And one of the reasons being is my daughter went to that school. So I sat in that very chair watching that very stage with Erica. 
You know, now, Eric, and then it's crazy. I'm sitting there, and Erica calls me from Germany uh, while I'm sitting in the audience. Uh, the show hadn't started yet. Uh, she just needed some information just to kind of chit-chat, say what's up. And um, uh, so I had to cut her off, unfortunately. But, uh, but yeah, you know, right away I started, you know, visualizing my daughter up there. And it, it's, it was a little moving. It was definitely a little moving. But uh, I'm glad I was there. I'm glad I was there. We, we were able to be there for Santana. Um, and, you know, her parents right now are not able to make it. It's just they got three other kids. It's just... Uh, Life's a little chaotic right now at this moment, uh, but they're cool. Everything's good. Nobody, everybody's cool. Um, it's just the movement. Just she has no car right now. She's got you know basically four kids, three little ones with her. We have the oldest one, and um, so we were able. And we're always there. You know, Angel makes a point. I, I would never miss it. I've never missed it with my kids. I would never miss it with her either, with any of the grandkids. But Angel really pushes. Uh, she makes it a point, and thank God for her that I have her. And that she's like that, you know. Um, and she just turns it, everything into a very special day. And she really makes it special for these kids. And, you know, I appreciate that, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, it was really nice. It was it was nice. And then, um, you know, we left and stopped off at McDonald's. <laughs> and we actually did stuff we ate in the car. But uh, it was funny because I was saying, yeah, check this out, man. We had a went to a Broadway play and then dinner, <laughs> you know. But um, but yeah, so it was cool. Everything was uh, we had a good a good night. Uh, tomorrow, what am I doing tomorrow? I'm gonna work. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday's basically my last day here. That's when I go get a haircut, do everything we got to do. So tomorrow's gonna be work day, you know. So try to get up early, working on the book in the morning. Come back out here, try to get a few things done. And um, and then get ready for the weekend. So uh, I don't know how many of you guys who are listening are going to be at any of the shows. Please don't forget to come up to me. Let me know you listen to the podcast. Give me your thoughts. Even if you say it sucks, say, yo, yeah, it kind of sucks. I'm cool with that. I can handle it. I'm a big boy. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to stop. Okay? So we capped the 50, uh, the 50 episode mark. We're already on 56. Now we're heading to 60. 60, I'm going to shoot. I think my next land, uh, my next milestone will be 75. And if 75 will be 100. So maybe we should do something where we, maybe I can, some sort of celebration. Drink wine, maybe? <laughs> maybe I can drink some wine, some of the 808 Beats, you know? Uh, by the way, the website will be up in a couple of days. 808 Beats, Taste the Bass. Uh, you guys definitely got to check out this wine. Um, I did a podcast on it. I didn't diss the wine. I'm not a wine drinker. I don't drink anything. So everything tastes funny to me. But um, I had very reliable sources come back to me and not because we're a part of this and tell me, hey, this is some good wine. So I feel good about pushing it and pumping it and letting you guys know. Uh, check it out. There's an image on Angel on the Bottle. So it's definitely a collector's item. So after you drink it, you might want to keep that bottle, bring it to you, with you to the next show, let her sign it. Uh, but it's cool. You know, listen, we've done colognes as freestyle. Now we have wine dedicated and targeting our particular market. So, you know, if you can support it, that's wonderful. You know, again, it's called 808 Base. Um, I'm sorry, 808 Beats. Beats with a Z at the end. Find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, uh, find either me or Angel posting posting it. Uh, Mario Pacheco is the main man behind it. You can reach out to him if you need, you know, you can order the wine, have it shipped right to your door. I got a case. Um, it was shipped right to my door. Not one of them broke. So they do a really good job. <laughs> so you might want to, uh, you might want to check that out and then let us know what you think. You know, so, but um, don't forget, uh, it's called 808 Beats. So I just want to push that. I want you guys to uh, to um, to uh, to really look into it. Anyone else who has ideas similar, you know, throw them up there, man. Throw them up there. I'll help protect it. I'll help you. Uh, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll push you. I'll, I know who, who came up with what, you know. Listen, ideas come a dime a dozen, man. It's execution that counts. You know, I can sit here and probably brainstorm with you guys and we could probably all come up with the dopest ass ideas 
come in, in relation to freestyle. However, unless we execute, it means nothing. It's garbage. So keep that in mind. Never get worried about your ideas. If you could come up with one, you can come up with a hundred. Okay. Um, another thing is the Styling Free Store. Styling Free Store. It's the collection. It's all the freestyle t-shirts. Um, I think so far we've uploaded, I don't know, like 40 maybe? No, I think it's like 25, uh, maybe 25 guys, 25 girls, or men, women, whatever you want to call it. Um, check that out. I'll be posting the site soon, but uh, it's called Style of Free. It's a collection. Style of Free was named off at, at the, um, from the label that I had back in the early 90s. Um, it, it's really cool. Uh, quality, quality t-shirts. I like good stuff, so I'm definitely not going to sell you guys any garbage. Uh, so you might want to check it out. Really cool sayings, like if you go into concerts or you go into shows. Right now we're doing the black line, so all the t-shirts are black. All the all everything's black, you know. So um, you might want to uh, really just check them out, and I would love to see you guys wearing one of, one of one of these t-shirts at one of the venues. So that'd be so so cool, you know. But uh, so be on the lookout for that. So that's style and free. And uh, my goal with that thing is to really um, to clothe you guys, to really starting with T-shirts, um, and then later on we could get into other things, you know. So, and uh, that's about it, guys. That's about it. Uh, everything else is good. Um, freestyle scene, pretty um, pretty stable. Pretty stable. I posted a bunch of uh, those memes the other day on freestyle against phonies and. Uh, the members just ripped it apart. So somebody actually thought it was me. They, they, because I asked, who do you think it is? Somebody said, I thought, I thought maybe it was you. And they have every right to, but trust me, a little too intense, man. Not only that, it was they were released so many years ago. I think like eight years ago. I had them for that long. Um, so if it was something that I wanted to create to release, I would have done it eight years ago. <laughs> so, but uh, go on to Freestyle Against Phonies on Facebook and enjoy those pictures. You're gonna laugh. They. <laughs> It's crazy. Even this, the girls too. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm cool with it. I can handle it. It's not, not a big deal. These are, you know, anybody who's going to spend that much time, excuse me, that much time thinking about me, I'm going to post. I'm going to help them promote. Someone else did a video that they talked about for 20 minutes, over 20 minutes. I think it was like 23 minutes. I've never met this person in my life. I can't tell you anything about this person. But for 22 minutes, this guy literally described in detail how much he hates me. How much he doesn't want me to, to, to work. He said, don't let him eat. Don't let him make any money. Don't let his family eat. That's what he said. You'll see it's in the video. <coughs> so... Uh, it, it's sad. I Even my worst enemy, I couldn't do that to. First of all, I couldn't put that much time into you. If I ain't feeling you, I can't even, I can't. I feel like you won. If I put, <coughs> excuse me, guys. If I put that much energy into, into you, even if it's negative, then you won. You won because you were able to attract my attention to the point where, I'm thinking about you that and anyone who's spending that much time um, writing things like that doing those memes posting my picture on funny stuff talking about my, my wife and my artists and what uh, I can imagine you trying to sleep at night I can imagine you tossing and turning because I am that significant in your mind that is crazy. That is crazy. It's scary too. Like these are people that can actually do shit to you. So you got to be careful with that. You know, does this person have any reason whatsoever to not like me? No, I've never done anything to him. I've never met him in person. I've never looked him in the eyes. I've never shook this guy's hands. The only reason I know what he sounds like is from the video. If I saw him on the street before, I would I would have walked right by. I wouldn't know who this dude is. He became famous to me only be, through that video. 
Then I was like, okay, I know who this dude is, you know? So uh, I'm not mentioning his name now, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna post this video. So I can, I can name him now, but that's not gonna be any fun. But you know, I don't like people who say, well, there's this one particular person, I'm not gonna mention any names. No, 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 I don't do that shit. If I talk about you, I have something to say, I'm gonna let you know, I'm gonna put, put your name. You will never hear me say that. I'm saying it this time because I'm going to actually release the video. So I don't, it's more like a surprise. I don't wanna, I don't wanna let the, the cat out the bag yet, you know? But I will release it on Freestyle Against Phonies. That will be the page where I will release it. So make sure you go on there and you check it out. Oh, unless I decide to release it on my personal page. Hmm. That would be interesting. I don't think I've ever done that before. That might be kind of cool, actually. Uh, what's so funny that is I've released this a long time ago, and then, you know, it got reported by the same person. He got reported. He wanted it down. I'm like, wait up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You create this video. You put it online. And then I help you promote it. <laughs> And you report me. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> so, but anyway, guys, anyway, guys, listen. Enjoy your night. I'm gonna call it call it quits. I'm done. I'm done, son. I'm ready to go shut down. Uh, you guys gonna be with me throughout the whole weekend, so we will be podcasting. Um, don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Subscribe to my YouTube. Like on my Facebook. Like on my YouTube. The support means a lot. It really means a lot to me. Um, I, I, I'm really determined to take this to a whole other level. And I have a bigger picture involved. I want to really connect with you guys. So listen, let me go. So uh, have a good night. And until tomorrow, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.